Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes surveys the formation as more than 30 units and 2,200 service and community members gather this morning for Fort Meade's annual wellness and remembrance run in observation of 9-11 and the recognition of September as Suicide Prevention Month. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more scenes from this morning's run at the end of the show. Also this week, more on Suicide Prevention Month, the latest results from the NATO Chess Championships, a canine troop earns top dog, and some reminders from the Garrison and MWR. All of these stories and more. But first, Fort Meade observed the 13th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks with a remembrance ceremony Thursday in front of the Directorate of Emergency Services. Making this year's event special was the presentation of a commemorative stained glass panel. Janet Parker and Mrs. Martha Hansen. They are from Panned Expression Studios who designed the glass panels for our new memorial display, including metal from the Twin Towers, which was given us about three years ago by one of the New Jersey, New York Port Authority police, uh, John Gorman, who could not be here today because he's with the drum and pipe up in New York City. Husband and wife Marge and Ray Nichols, both retired Baltimore County police officers, have been creating works of stained glass art for more than 20 years. We came up with the idea that we, we, we would make three windows for this particular area that we had. and. The basic inspiration behind it was we wanted one of the panels to display the Peace of the World Trade Center to show what happened on that day or to commemorate what happened on that day. In other news, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. MeTV sat down with Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Program Manager, Ms. Marissa Pena, about the month's activities. We started with a training requirement for all Army soldiers and Department of Army civilians. So what we're doing is we're doing ACSI. We're offering that to everybody on the installation. It's kind of new in the Army. So we're predicting that there's a lot of individuals that haven't had ACSI, even though it's only mandatory once within your career. During the training, the four-hour training, we educate people on resources, how to role play, how to ask the question, and then escort that individual to, um, to wherever they need to go, behavioral health the hospital, you know, help escort that individual. We'll have more with Ms. Pena on next week's show. Meanwhile, we reported earlier this month that two members of the United States chess team at the NATO Championships in Canada are assigned right here at Fort Meade. With one day of competition left, here are the standings. Team-wise, the U.S. has moved up to third place after Thursday's play with a total of 15.5 points. Germany leads with 18.5. Poland's in second place with 18. A point is earned for each match win and a half a point for a draw. Individually, there are 74 players from 16 countries competing. Fort Meade's Master Sergeant Robert Keogh is currently in 17th position with four points. Team Captain David Hader is in 47th position with three points earned. We'll have the final results for you next week. Meantime, we reported earlier this week that Specialist Jonathan Mendoza was the first Army military working dog handler and the youngest service member to be named top dog at the Marine Corps' Advanced Military Working Dog Training Course. Here's a brief introduction to Specialist Mendoza and his buddy Canto. He was a green dog when I met him, so he didn't know nothing. He didn't know the sit command. He didn't, he didn't know no obedience at all. So I had to train him from the ground up. And it took, it took us um, 35 days to certify, which is pretty f really fast. With a, with a green dog, it's, temp it's normally you get 90 days with a green dog. And so me and him fast-tracked, and we were, we were doing great things because I was motivated coming out on weekends, uh, training him by myself. And he's just, he's a great dog, fast learner, and me and him have great rapport. Although the course is for the handler, but I couldn't, I could have never done it without him because he motivated me every day and he kept me, he kept my spirit up knowing that it's going to, he's there, he's, he's here to save my life and others. So why not be motivated? I mean, that's, that's the biggest privilege to, to do. Uh, he's a great dog. That's why I, I love him. I wish I could, I, didn't, I couldn't have to leave him when I had PCS, but. That's the Army. Finally, on this edition, we close with some more scenes from this morning's wellness run and some important reminders from the Garrison and MWR. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at MeTV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade week. Hello.